Actually, nasa'y iron. Mm -hmm. Sa mga iron. Mm -hmm. More than that. Okay. So, pag mag-browse mo, kanyang medyo painful. Okay, the grip, the, 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 ano pa, ang dito, kanyang puti. Mm -hmm. So, when you brush, um, I haven't used ang lips. If you want to know when you should schedule your baby's first dental visit, then you came to the right channel because today I'm going to tell you when it should be and what happened during Kara's first dental visit. So keep on watching. My name is Malai and welcome back to my channel. Do you know when should you schedule your baby's first dental visit? Um, if not most, most of us, then maybe some of us, um, we only go to the dentist when there's a problem already, right? Um, but it should not be the case. Um, don't you know that it is generally recommended that an infant should be seen by a dentist by the age of one or within six months after his or her first tooth comes in. Say your baby will be turning one on August 1 and her, his or her uh, first tooth came in last March. So within the time frame of um, March to August 1, um, you should visit your, dent uh, your baby's dentist already or before, um, before sh your baby um, turns one on August 1. Again, your baby's first dental visit should be um, by the age of one or um, within six months after um, his or her first tooth comes in. So a month ago, um, we brought Kara to her dentist um, for his, her first dental visit. And as promised, I will be sharing to you guys what happened um, during her first dental checkup. Kara's turning one this um, this month and this happened uh, last month. Um, her first dental visit was last month. And four, that is four months after her first tooth came in. Um, her first tooth came in, I think, February, uh, Feb of this, this year, uh, Feb 2019. Uh, about Kara's first dental checkup um it was just short and um it didn't involve any treatment at all um she was just there to meet her dentist and her dentist check all her existing teeth and um she checked her bites and any other potential problems um the dentist opted not to let her um sit in the dental chair instead I was the one who sat there and then Kara was just lying on my lap and her head part is near the dentist where the dentist um, can easily um, access and check um, Kara's teeth um, it was very quick um, after that um, we were then asked to sit with her and then she then started to um, uh, to tell us about um, the health teachings about um, oral care or oral hygiene for your baby. So here are the important things that I will be sharing to you guys that my, our dentist or Kara's dentist um, shared to us um, on how to um, take care of your babies. So first is how to brush your baby's teeth. Um, when brushing your baby's teeth, um, you look for a position that is very comfortable for you and your baby especially for you that um, it's with good um, visibility and you can access your baby's teeth anytime uh, after that when you brush you put in a small amount of toothpaste with fluoride um, or a streak of toothpaste um, on your baby's toothbrush whatever you're using a finger brush or a toothbrush um, put a streak amount of uh, put a streak of a um, toothpaste and then quickly and gently brush your baby's teeth when brushing your baby's teeth um, you slightly lift um, your baby's lip um, 
both the upper lip and the lower lip so that um, you can brush off um, those food particles that are stuck on your baby's teeth, um, especially um, that area near the gums, uh, near the gums, right? And then um, after that, you, you, you brush the front and the back. If before we were advised to rinse it off af with water after brushing, but now um, it's no longer advisable. Our, our dentist um, suggested not to um, rinse it off with water anymore. So um, your baby can maximize the fluoride content of your toothpaste. What are the pro tips that she told us? Um, first that she told us is um, always be mindful of what's uh, always be mindful of everything that will come into your baby's mouth always check if it's safe and clean like especially um, toddlers and infants um, they 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 tend to put everything in their mouth right um, they explore and so many things and then um, by um, especially infants, they 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 they're still in oral stage, um, so check it. Um, there are other people that will. Uh, there are other people. Um, others may say na um, your baby might experience LBM because. Um, LPM because they're keeping so it's normal if um, it's normal for your baby to have uh, to experience LPM when they're keeping um, so uh, as I've mentioned in your in my last video that it's not related to keeping guys um, if you want to listen to what my to, uh, what our dentist um, told us we have to be mindful what she puts inside her mouth kay na uban ang fingers pa paapon ikaw well the carry pa apon ka sa mm. sa imong shoulder na pu uban mga toys whatever ilang mo grab ganahan nila kiti itul sometimes mo good na uban bata magka fever or magkalibanga kay tungod na na naay ka nang hugaw na na introduce sa ilang body so di siya per se na it's because of the eating but it's because of unsa ilang sibo that might have been dirty so wala na ang idea but tayo na na unsa iyang ibutang na hindi so, siya dinotok na pag magkalipang nga so, so, when it's game over it's like nice slide sa elevation sa so, temperature so, so, and then po ang food um I usually don't recommend the eating gel kay transient na mangod ang relief sa discomfort. So, sige pa pahi, then matulon, then ita pa balo how much na hindi ang mga. Nag-bite ko before, hindi ko na pagbasa na ako. Well, yung dangan din na ako. Okay. And then, sa toothpaste po, we can already use, but very minimal. Kasi ba, you're using sans flow. So, pwede kato na lang sa iyang gamitin, but there should be fluoride already. Ah, okay. Ano man, we can just wipe it na lang after the brush. Ang um, pwede siya sa aqua fresh kaya na may stages for kids. So, pwede siya kung 0 to 2 years old. If your baby is already taking vitamins, especially iron, then make sure to give iron um, supplements um, using a dropper and give it at the side of your baby's mouth um, so that it will prevent um, your baby's teeth from um, staining. But if stain is already present, then use a damp um, towel and gently rub the stained area. Next is use a bib to maintain a dry neck area um, to avoid flakes that will cause um, irritation afterwards. The last but not the least um, pro tip that she gave us that I find very important is to delay the introduction of sugar um, because um, she said that once your baby tasted the um, tasted it then they will really look for it look for it but in the events that you can not really avoid um, just follow it up with water and she also said that other uh, that drinks other than water should be given using a straw so either it's a milk 
juice, soda, whatsoever, as long as it's not water, give it to your ba uh, baby using a straw. Um, next of my concern is that um, the difficulty in brushing Tara's teeth. Now, she told me that, uh, she told me to really brush Tara's teeth at least twice a day using a toothpaste and a brush. Um, uh, we really need to brush, we really need to brush our baby's teeth. Um, especially, um, especially if you are bottle feeding, you really need to brush your baby's um, teeth. Um, she emphasized that if you are doing it correctly, then it should not be pain painful. And then it will only take um, less than a minute. Do the so, best that you can to brush your um, baby's teeth. Um, with Gara, we use this um, aqua fresh milk teeth together with this. Uh, as you've seen in my last video, we use this and still using this one, um, the finger brush. Um, Kara likes to use this one and we just added the 360 360 baby toothbrush We parents caregivers should focus on prevention um, I didn't regret that we Visited Kara's dentist that if you early. are hesitant because um, you, uh, you're 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 worried about your baby um, don't be um, just always um, speak about um, dental visit um, avoid, avoid the um, terms that are so negative like pain hurt blood all the stuff um, uh, always reiterate or, or always tell your um, kids your baby that um, dental visit is fun and the dentist is your baby's friend that will take out. care of that will take good care of their teeth um, so they can have a healthy and clean teeth. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips. And don't forget to hit that notification bell icon beside the subscribe button below so you won't miss my next video which is about how to deep clean a sofa and thoroughly clean. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!